This is I'm Felton Noah from the Metal Network, and we are here with Jason Takei and Ian Chains of Ian Cauldron. And I was right on. Yeah. And you got earplugs in for the interview. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and we got a couple questions for you. One, uh, just how's, the, how's this current tour going so far? What, what do you guys, how, what do you think of it? How is it? Yeah, pretty, pretty successful. I mean, it started off with seven shows with Diamond Head, which was pretty awesome. Kind of a, a dream of ours to play with a band that, you know, influenced us. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, that'd be a killer show to play. Like a uh, string of dates. Were they, were, how were they as people? Were they cool? Like were they interactive with you guys? Nice chipper old British man. <laughs> British. Yeah. Everything's lovely jubbly, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Lovely jubbly. about the new album uh, like, what, how was it like making it uh, what, what, what was the process like and how was it different from any of the others any different any drummer stories? different yeah. drummer always keeps it fresh but uh, same studio same producer yeah, we've got, burning we've fortune. always had the same recording method we just record live together in a room all the bed tracks the lead guitar and the uh, vocals that's about it it's pretty yeah, simple I noticed like, I hear like the tracks on the albums and that, that explains it. And, yeah. You know, uh, what are your favorite songs from it and what are your favorites to play live? Uh, the ones we do play live, which is End of Time, uh, Nightbreaker, Summer, Burning Fortune. Burning Fortune is a fun one. Yeah, They're all a, fun. Yeah. That's a good, that was a good one last night. I remember that live, that was, that was yeah. sick live. I think really we're going to try Fight for Day tonight. Nice. We try to have lots of uh, options, that. lots of variety, so change it up. Yeah, it's cool. So it keeps it fresh. Like, it, so you guys aren't doing the same, repeating the same set every night. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, what are your favorite cities to play? Uh, Medford, Oregon. <laughs> Medford, um, Portland. Uh, Portland. Anywhere in Oregon, really. Edmonton's good. Edmonton's a good city for us. New York, Toronto, um, Chicago, LA. Just like, but th these are North American cities. That'll yeah. rule! Right! Yeah! Oh yeah! Turn it up to the dead man! Say it right! That'll rule! That'll rule! Bring it on! Those are some good North American cities. In Barcelona. Yeah, there's lots of Europe. Good cities for us in Europe, too. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm, sure, I'm sure Europe is probably very different to this in terms of crowds. There's different, there's different types of shows everywhere. I mean, in Europe, there's good, good towns and bad towns as well. It's, yeah. A good show here, or a good show in North America, is the same as a good show in Europe, pretty much. You just get. Tend to get a hotel room and yeah, you, you know they treated better. Yeah. You get fed better. Yeah. You get you know proper place to sleep. Shit like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, like well, you guys do a lot of covers. I noticed like the uh, Chains Around Heaven and then I Confess and Autumn Twilight and then Die Hard last night, which I was very pleasantly surprised by. Yes. Uh, what? What, how do you guys decide what to play? Oh, we just, well, try to choose ones that are so obscure that people think we wrote it. Except for <laughs> iHeart, obviously. But I, I, don't know. Uh, I don't know how we come up with them. We, we pick songs that sound like our style. like Or songs that we can, could, that would lend themselves to our, our, our style. Or, I don't know, just basically just songs that we all like, that we all agree on doing. Usually stuff we're listening to in the van on tour. Yeah. You know, if we have like a, a jam that we're playing the whole tour, that's sort of like the tour, the tour jam or the tour anthem. Sometimes when we get home from tour, we end up learning it. It's a You know, if we have some extra studio time, we record like some extra songs. Last question I have, uh, what's on the horizon for the band? What do you have in your future? Any plans after this? I'm going to buy a couple records in there. And, uh, I don't know. After, uh, after the tour, after you're going to drive back to Medford, 
<laughs> They're gonna fly back here, buy a couple records. Is there even an airport in Medford? I doubt it. Yeah. Um, well, finish up this tour in a couple weeks, and then uh, doing a Ryan Fest in June. We have a couple more shows in July. A few more shows in July, probably. Other than that, I don't know. We don't really have any plans. So. Just working on new songs. We've already started writing, so who knows? We'll see how it goes. Always looking for gigs. So we'll see what comes along. A couple of, like, we have a few options now, but nothing's good for us. Yeah, like, like tour options we will offer. Yeah. Yeah, well, thank you guys a ton for your time. Uh, it's much appreciated. Uh, last night was awesome. I can't wait to thank you catch you set again tonight. Right on. Thanks, man. And that's that kid over there said metal rules. Dude. Yes, it does indeed. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Just trying to hold the camera. Gladius. Yeah, Gladius. <laughs> wait, quick question. What did you guys think of their set last night? Gladius is the man, man. The man? Gladius is like... As cool as Thor. As so, Thor? Yeah. Nice. John Michael Thor. <laughs> They're awesome. Sweet. Glad to play with us. Awesome. Spellcaster, too. Yeah, Spellcaster. Spellcaster kicks ass. Like, <laughs> Those guys showed us a wild party last night. Spellcaster oh, yeah. destroyed their entire apartment for <laughs> our apartment amusement. Yeah. <laughs> they, told, they told me about that. They said they were going to have a party, but they said it might have. So you guys want to meet? <laughs> These guys are making a movie on the Bedford heavy metal scene. Yeah.